everybody, welcome back to Disneyland today. We're gonna show you our favorite foods in each of the lands, at least right now, what we're into right yeah. now. Yes, uh, we're gonna share with you the things that we tend to get when we're in each land, yeah. what we prefer. Now this is excluding sit down, dining reservation type yeah. situations. Just walk up type stuff. You could classify most of these as more of like a snacky type thing or like a food on the run. Um, so it's not like your full blown sit down meal. Right, stuff you could mobile order, stuff you could just walk up and grab and go, or you know, sit down and eat as well. And we're starting this on Main Street, which is the first place most people go to when they get to Disneyland, unless you take the monorail in or something like that. But when we go down Main Street, the thing that we kind of crave the most, most of the time, it's not Coke Corner. They have some good stuff. They got the hot dogs and the mac and cheese and all that. But we're thinking more across the street, the old red wagon corn dog cart. So if you want to come and get yourself a corn dog, we highly suggest placing a mobile order on the free Disneyland app because this line can get crazy. Honestly, most of the time when you do a mobile order here, it's ready within five to 10 minutes most of the time. So definitely make sure you do that. That way you get your corn dog even faster. So our wait was a total of five minutes. We'll hit, I'm here, prepare my order, and it'll be ready in just a couple seconds. And honestly, that's one of the reasons we choose this as our favorite Main Street item because of how fast you can get it without having to wait too long, especially on a crowded day like today. And you'll find ketchup, mustard, condiments, napkins behind the wagon. And then if there's tables available, you can come right next door to the Plaza Inn and have a seat up here and enjoy your corn dog. All right, there it is, the hand-dipped corn dog from Little Red Wagon 1059 comes with the chips. And if you're like me, you have to have mustard on your hand dip. Corn dog, Katie, what about you? Always need mustard, not ketchup, mustard. She's a mustard girl, I'm a mustard guy. I don't know what that means, but this is happening. Look at the cornmeal hot dog ratio. It's massive. We split them. All the mustard, no ketchup. Mm. So good. We're going towards Fantasyland. You can see the Matterhorn and the castle. But for this food, we're not going to walk straight through the castle. Uh, it may come as a surprise to you, but Fantasyland goes all the way back to Small World. That's true. If that's any hint. That whole section. Yes, if that's any hint as to what our next food item is. So when it comes to Fantasyland, you've got Red Rose Tavern, which has some great stuff. Mm -hmm. But further into Fantasyland, deeper over by It's a Small World. I think you know where I we're mean, going with this. Pretty, if you've been watching us for long enough, you probably know exactly what we're talking about. But we're going to show you anyways and where to find it, because a lot of people actually don't know where to find it. So True. we're going to try and help you out here. There is It's a Small World right there. We've got the train going through right now. And if you go to the left, just past the merchandise shop, a little further down to the left, you'll find Fantasyland Theater entrance. Walk under that towards the theater. And before you enter the theater, look to your left, there is the Troubadour tavern where the baked potato lies. Now we mobile ordered this and when you get here you'll notice they do not have the loaded baked potato on the menu as of now. And that's because all the stuff that's here now is Lion King themed. They didn't have our loaded baked potato back when this show premiered. They had the custom Lion King selections but now they've got it back so I'm sure they'll add it to the main menu at some point. All right there it is 849 the loaded baked potato. Yes, it is a perfectly cooked baked potato. It's got cheese, sour cream, bacon bits, and chives. Oh yeah. It is literally one of the things that we come and eat all the time. Yep. Just be aware this is only open until six o'clock. Um, as of right now, that's what it is. So highly recommend placing a mobile order and getting yourself a baked potato because this is heaven on earth, my friends. It's another kind of grab and go. Obviously we're sitting down, but we mean kind of grab, eat, and move on pretty easy, especially with the mobile order. So mm -hmm. that's why this made the list. Oh yeah, you can totally go watch the parade. As the sun sets on the Matterhorn, we make our way towards Tomorrowland for our feature favorite food in Tomorrowland. We pass by the churro cart. <laughs> always we're tempted because we're kind of going for something sweet now, but we're going to bypass that. The thing is, uh, it's there if you want it, but churro carts are in every land. That's true. Pretty much. As tempting as it is, we're going to keep moving. We're going to try and wait and stay away from the obvious things like Dole Whips and churros Correct. because those are just obvious and just delicious. Even though the smell of that churro was intoxicating, oh, we're yeah. going to push past it. <laughs> Restraint oh, and cotton candy, passing it. That also goes on the obvious list. It does, but 
I mean, you could do that. Just know that that's another way to kind of grab and go your yes. sweet after your savory. But we're going for a special one. Also, for this list, we're trying to keep it a good mix of sweet and savory. Right. Some lands it's sweet, some lands it's savory. Hello, monorail. Quick pass by the submarine lagoon. We made it over to Galactic Grill and we mobile ordered Darth Bite Dark chocolate. Bite chocolate. I is. mean, we had to. Listen, I also would put the blood orange slush on there for yeah. this list. However, that I know is seasonal. I have a good feeling Darth Bite chocolate might stay around a little bit longer. It's just so popular with everyone. If you're a chocolate lover, this is a must have. We get this every time we're in the park. Perfectly shareable with two people. You got the uh, cookie crumbs on top. You got the chocolate mousse, the chocolate syrup, the red velvet cake, and that chocolate pudding on the bottom. It is so delicious. You need to get a Darth by chocolate. Spencer always eats the uh, Darth, literally the Darth chocolate, um, but we always recommend getting a spoon so you can shovel it out. I obviously can't eat this entire bite, but... I can. Oh, you can. Do it. You did it! Wow. That was no small feat. That was pretty impressive. Most impressive. Cheers. I can eat this every day of my life. Mm. Mm. All right, we're headed into Frontierland, or I should say Frontierland, because we're going to the Golden Horseshoe to have us a nice, tasty treat. Yes, the next food item on our list is the cookie butter churro sundae. It is $7.99 and it is so delicious. It's cookie dough ice cream. It's got two churros inside of it. It is just delicious. I'm not sure how long the cookie butter sundae will be here for, but we're kind of hoping like the Darth by chocolate, it'll stick around because it is so good. If you're a fan of cookie dough ice cream, cookie butter, and churros, this sundae is for you. Night has fallen here amidst this food crawl. We're passing by Big Thunder and we're headed towards Galaxy's Edge. All right, we came into Docking Bay 7 right next to the Millennium Falcon, and this is something that they've had since pretty much the beginning of this land the tip yip chicken with mashed potatoes. Now, the chicken used to be shaped in a certain way because it wasn't really supposed to be chicken, it was supposed to be, you know. Tip yip. Tip yip, yeah. Uh, it looks like they've stopped doing that and now it is just the regular, uh, looks like chicken, uh, yeah. the shape anyways. It is good chicken though. It's good chicken. It, it's it, really it, good. It doesn't change the flavor. It's just that the theme itself has started to uh, wane a little bit uh, for whatever reason, but we really enjoy it. It's uh, hearty and nice at night. It's like a, it's a nice meal. It's really good. It actually comes with either a vegetable mash or you could get it with macaroni and cheese. Yes. We prefer the vegetable mash. Um, I don't know. It's just really good. It's got like peas and carrots and it just goes really well with the chicken. The chicken always just is super flavorful and juicy. Yeah. It's a good thing. I mean, there's so many good things at Docking Bay 7, yeah. but uh, and, and Dorian chicken uh, tip yip, that's the way to go, man. Well, this is Galaxy's Edge. Uh, it's their version of the Plaza Inn. Yeah, <laughs> Galaxy's Inn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Walt would have loved this place. I think so too. So good, all white meat, chicken, vegetables. Mm. It's an old standard for us. So good. Now there are other things that we like here, don't get us wrong, and there are other things we like at Galaxy's Edge, but this has been kind of a go-to and a standard uh -huh. for such a long time that we felt it deserved a little little nod, a little recognition in this video. A little TLC and love. It's a classic. Okay, over to Critter Country and one of our favorite spots, Hungry Bear Restaurant, and we have chosen... The chili cheese onion rings. They also have chili cheese fries, but we got these one night and we were like, you know what? These are pretty darn good for 
$7.99. Um, they just kind of make a good like little, you know, snack or maybe even a meal if you're not like too hungry. If you're a hungry critter. They work but great. We like these a lot. They're so good, especially if you're, you know, watching the fireworks over in, you know, Galaxy's Edge or, I don't know, they're just, they're really, really good, honestly. Like, for some reason, the onion rings are always really good here and, um, and they're splittable. Yes. And the only other thing, though, is if they had the loaded fries and loaded onion rings, those are better. But these are still a win because these are what's available right now. Um, we just love them. Chili cheese onion rings. Mm. Those are good. There's just something about that salty chili yeah. and then the sweet onion. You just get such a massive onion ring. Okay, New Orleans Square which by the way already has some Christmas lights a glow look at that and we went over to the mint julep bar because our favorite thing to get over here Mickey shaped beignets that's you have right to get them today they only had a six pack available for mobile order which is really weird but um, they're very good so I just got to show you though if you're getting your beignets make sure you get the bag and you shake it up to evenly distribute all of that powdered sugar it's a shake and bake basically it is um, especially when they're nice and hot these are amazing now the other good thing about these beignets is that they often have seasonal beignets so during Halloween right now they have pumpkin spice beignets when it's Christmas time we get candy cane beignets sometimes during Mardi Gras they do like blueberry lemon there's so many good flavors of these but uh, today we're just gonna share with you the classic powdered sugar Mickey beignets they are just so soft and delicious. It's kind of like the, the Disneyland classic staple that you need to get when you come over to New Orleans Square. Even just these regular powdered ones are so good. If you're not familiar about what a beignet is, it's a uh, almost like a little donut, if you will. You can get a, a dipping sauce for them sometimes on the side. They're just so good. Mmm. They're just delicious. And of course, when you're over there, make sure you grab a mint julep. We love to try the seasonal flavors of these as well. Right now it's a hibiscus mint julep. Almost kind of tastes like fruit punch a little bit. Oh, okay. Delicious though, either way. I don't think I've had this one. Let me try this. Oh yeah, it's like fruit punch with mint, kind of. Always go with the ear first. <laughs> Pretty hard set rule. Always bring wet wipes to Disneyland. They're just so useful, especially if you know you're gonna be eating a bunch of beignets because that powdered sugar doesn't come off with a napkin very easily. You could also just go wash your hands. Sometimes that bathroom has a pretty long line. Bring some wet wipes. Lifesaver. Now, I don't know if it's just because we've been doing this so long, but there's something about the beignet and the julep, the marriage. They just go together. They go together like bread and butter, like Katie and Spencer. <laughs> It complements it like a cheese to a wine. All right, over to Adventureland and the Bengal Barbecue because we have the Safari Skewer, Katie. Yes, for $6.49, this is our pick. Now listen, we love all the skewers at Bengal Barbecue, minus the spicy one. I'd say that's the only one that we don't eat, but we settled on the Safari Skewer for a top pick because we love the asparagus. It is just cooked, grilled perfectly, and then add in that salty, smoky, wrapped bacon but what really turns it up a notch is the lemon when you add lemon juice to this skewer it just is a whole nother like dimension of flavor because you have that like I said that salty smoky bacon but then you have the fresh like sour lemon I don't know it's just so good it's number one thank us later mm. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, we also got the old jungle julep. As an honorable mention, we just love the jungle julep. It's really good. It's, I always say it kind of tastes like a melted purple popsicle. Yeah, kind of grape uh, vibes. A little grapey, a little like fruit punchy, and I don't even normally like fruit punch, but mm, for some reason, it just goes great with the skewers, you know? It's delicious. And it's like really nice and refreshing, especially when it's hot out. Yeah. Which does happen a lot at Disney. Mm. Oh yeah. 
I love me a good it's jungle. Refreshing when you're in the jungle and you're parched. When <laughs> after you've been <laughs> after you've been on the the jungle cruise. That's right. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to our patreons and thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye, bye, everybody.